In the realm of physical culture, where sculpted physiques and remarkable feats of strength have long captivated the imagination, there emerges the figure of a man whose name resonates through the annals of bodybuilding history with an unparalleled reverence. Steve Reeves. As the curtains drew open on the Silver Era, Reeves emerged as an embodiment of physical perfection, a paragon of aesthetic beauty that would forever define the standards of the sport. With chiseled features, a Herculean physique, and an unwavering dedication to his craft, he ascended to the throne as the original king of aesthetics, leaving an indelible mark on the world of bodybuilding that continues to inspire and captivate generations to this day. Steve Reeves was born on January 21, 1926, in Glasgow, Montana, and he moved to California at age 10 with his mother, Goldie Reeves, after his father, Lester Dell Reeves, died in a farming accident. Though his humble beginnings offered little indication of the monumental legacy he would later leave, Reeves possessed an unwavering determination to sculpt his body into a masterpiece. As fate would have it, a brace designed to rectify his poor posture would inadvertently become the catalyst for his transformation. Under the watchful guidance of Ed Yarrick, who recognized Reeves's potential, the aspiring bodybuilder embarked on a path that would lead him to the pinnacles of success. Following his return from the crucible of World War II, Reeves sought his fortunes in the sun-drenched shores of California. It was there that he ascended to the zenith of bodybuilding prominence, firmly establishing his dominion over the sport. In a whirlwind of triumph, Reeves amassed a collection of prestigious titles, including Mr. Pacific Coast, Mr. America, Mr. USA, second place, and ultimately, the coveted Mr. Universe crown. With this pinnacle achievement secured, Reeves set his sights on a new horizon, transitioning his talents to the realm of acting. The bustling streets of New York beckoned, and the silver screen became his canvas. Across the Atlantic, Reeves emerged as an esteemed luminary, captivating audiences with his imposing physique and undeniable charisma. As the highest-paid actor in Europe, he lent his prowess to a remarkable 18 films, his roles as Hercules, Goliath, and Sandakan etching themselves into the annals of cinematic history. Yet amidst the glitz and glamour, it was Reeves' profound influence on the world of bodybuilding that would reverberate through the ages. Even the illustrious Arnold Schwarzenegger himself attributes his own foray into acting to the inspiration kindled by Reeves' pioneering journey. To truly grasp the magnitude of Reeves' physical presence, one must delve into the measurements that defined him. With a weight hovering between 215 to 225 pounds and an imposing height of 6'1", his physique exuded power and grace. Arms that measured 18.5 inches in circumference, a chest expanding 52 inches, and a waist cinched at 29 inches spoke volumes of his sculpted form. Not to be outdone, his thighs boasted a girth of 26 inches, while his calves stood at an impressive 18.5 inches. Stepping into the realm of training and workouts, we find Steve Reeves, a paragon of natural bodybuilding whose views on the evolution of the sport diverged from its current trajectory. A staunch advocate for a holistic approach to physique development, Reeves voiced his opposition to the use of steroids, emphasizing the importance of both aesthetics and overall health. In the era when Reeves claimed the coveted title of Mr. Universe, the widespread availability of steroids had yet to permeate the bodybuilding scene, thus establishing a different landscape compared to the present day. In contrast to the training methods employed by modern enhanced bodybuilders, Reeves adhered to a distinct regimen. Unlike the prevalent body part split favored by many today, Reeves maintained a three-day training schedule, interspersed with a day and a half of rest between workouts. Every session demanded his utmost effort, as he devoted attention to training the entire body in each session. The carefully planned sequence of muscle groups targeted during his workouts unfolded as follows. Delts, chest, back, biceps, triceps, quads, hamstrings, calves, lower back, and abs. Reeves recognized the significance of adequate recovery, assigning a day and a half of rest following each workout. In the pursuit of intensity, a hallmark of his training approach, Reeves advocated resting for 45, 60 seconds between sets. Following the completion of all sets for a particular exercise, he would allow himself a two-minute respite before progressing to the next. 
Considering the formidable demands placed on the legs during training, Reeves adhered to the philosophy of leaving leg exercises for the latter part of his routine. By allocating priority to upper body training, he ensured optimal performance and exertion, understanding that compound lifts rely on the stability and power generated by the legs. Consequently, reserving the leg-focused exercises for the later stages of his workouts safeguarded the integrity of his upper body movements. A distinctive aspect of Reeves's training methodology lay in the pairing of antagonist muscle groups. After completing chest exercises, he seamlessly transitioned to back exercises, mirroring this approach with biceps and triceps, as well as quads and hamstrings. This strategic sequencing allowed for balanced development and synergistic activation of opposing muscle groups. In his training, Reeves adhered to a deliberate and meticulous approach. He adhered to a slow tempo, meticulously performing each exercise with impeccable form and honed his mind-muscle connection. By embracing a deliberate pace, Reeves cultivated an unwavering focus on the targeted muscles, reaping the full benefits of his endeavors. Central to his philosophy was the notion that sacrificing perfect form warranted a reduction in weight load, ensuring the integrity of his movements and mitigating the risk of injury. Within the realm of goal-setting, Steve Reeves emerges as a steadfast proponent. He ardently believed in the necessity of a clear vision when entering the gym, underscoring that training without a specific objective would inevitably lead to shortcuts and an unfulfilled potential in physique development. It was paramount for individuals to be specific and resolutely focus on the purpose driving their training endeavors. Steve's bodybuilding journey encompassed periods of remarkable success, intertwined with deliberate breaks from the sport. Whenever his attention shifted away from bodybuilding, Reeves directed his unwavering dedication toward other pursuits, ensuring his wholehearted commitment to any chosen objective. Consequently, when he redirected his focus back to bodybuilding, he demonstrated an unwavering determination that led to astounding transformations in his physique within record time. During the early days of bodybuilding, cardiovascular training held minimal significance. Its health advantages had yet to be comprehensively understood, and its direct correlation to muscle building remained elusive. Nevertheless, Steve Reeves showcased a fervent interest in power walking, dedicating himself to the activity. Reeves not only practiced power walking, but also authored numerous books and articles extolling its merits. His preference for power walking over running stemmed from its lower impact on his joints enabling him to safeguard their integrity while reaping the benefits of cardiovascular exercise. Through his advocacy, Reeves shed light on the advantages of power walking, contributing to the exploration of alternative cardiovascular training methods within the bodybuilding community. Similar to his disciplined training and goal-oriented mindset, Steve Reeves displayed unwavering dedication and focus when it came to his dietary regimen. He adhered to a simple yet meticulously structured diet, emphasizing the consumption of natural whole foods as the cornerstone of his nutritional approach. Contrary to the prevailing norms of today's bodybuilding practices, Reeves did not partake in excessive protein intake, nor did he shy away from carbohydrates. In fact, he strategically incorporated substantial carbohydrate-rich meals into his diet, particularly the day before his workouts, recognizing their significance in fueling his physical endeavors. The staple foods in Steve's diet comprised a range of wholesome options, including cottage cheese, nuts, fruits, fish, beef, chicken, and copious amounts of salad. This nutritional palette deviated from the conventional diets followed by modern-day bodybuilders, highlighting Reeves' unique approach to sustaining his physique. As part of his morning routine, Steve Reeves prepared a rejuvenating power drink concocted from a combination of ingredients carefully selected for their nutritional benefits. The ingredients included two cups of fresh orange juice, one tablespoon of gelatin, one tablespoon of honey, one banana, three to four raw eggs, and two tablespoons of homemade protein powder. This revitalizing elixir exemplified Reeves' commitment to nourishing his body with wholesome components. Steve Reeves left an indelible mark as an exemplary figure and a prominent ambassador for the sport of bodybuilding. Throughout his life, he remained a steadfast advocate for embracing a healthy lifestyle centered around natural whole foods and traditional exercise methodologies. Reeves staunchly opposed the use of steroids in bodybuilding, 
persistently voicing his concerns until his passing. Recognizing the industry's trajectory towards an irreversible path, he sought to safeguard the integrity and authenticity of the sport. Notably, Arnold Schwarzenegger, although admitting to his own past use of steroids, echoed Reeves's sentiments, emphasizing the need to address the pervasive influence of performance-enhancing substances in bodybuilding. Goodbye, Steve Reeves, the original king of aesthetics.